for the family of Jenna Bixby, reflecting on her best traits. She was a loving, caring person, helped people before she helped herself. Brings both comfort and regret, remembering what could have been. She was just such a wonderful person. She would have made a great police officer. Instead today, Jenna's family and close friends one by one talked in court, appealing that the man who drove drunk then drove the wrong way, causing a crash that killed the 30-year-old 911 dispatcher, faced the maximum possible sentence. It needs to stop and there needs to be far severe consequences for people that drink and drive. 73-year-old Richard Chaka also shared his thoughts on his actions in February 2018. First, I want to say I'm very sorry to the family. And the man who'd worked as a minister and college professor and also helped build orphanages in his native Sierra Leone also acknowledged the depth of his regret. This is the darkest moment in my life at this age. I'm asking them to forgive me. The judge did give Shaka the maximum sentence of four years in prison, while Jenna's family struggles with forgiveness. I ask myself every day, would my sister forgive someone for something so preventable? No. There is no forgiveness. It's never going to be enough to cover the heartache and the lifelong loss that we're going to have. Jenna's family has also filed a civil lawsuit against Richard Shaka. They say they are grateful for today's sentence, but again, they are pleading that people not drink and drive, and they are hoping for harsher penalties for those who do. Julie and Randy.